Hey guys, welcome back to Gun Shorts. This week, a little bit of a special edition. Um, I'm here at Biowall Shooting Ground in the new gun room, and um, they've got a couple of guns from TSK Beretta um, that are brand new into the country, and um, I've had a chance to have a sneak peek. First up, the DT11 Black Pro TSK. Now, if you remember, I interviewed Paolo Tolatini at uh, the British Shooting Show about this gun, and today I've had a chance to get my hands on this gun. This is a press gun um, that's at Biowall at the moment for um, for testing and um, I've had a shot. Um, it is essentially a DT11, it's a DT11 black with the, uh, the carbon rib, 18.6 uh, board, you get the uh, Steely and Pro barrels, obviously this bank vault uh, DT11 action, but it is mated to this uh, TSK um, adjustable stock in this uh, blue anodized color, which I believe is exclusive to Beretta. Um, the stock comes in a variety of sizes, you can specify the grip size at small, medium and large and after that you basically get a raft of adjustment options. The comb height, cast, uh, length of pull, uh, the angle and um, cast of this butt plate are all modifiable and um, it really does mean that you can absolutely nail down the fit of this gun to exactly how you want it. Now, Having said that, this is a press gun. I haven't messed with it too much. I've just got it today to uh, take it out on the range and take a few uh, uh, shots with, a, um, with it on the DTL and on the Sport Trap, um, and I've really enjoyed it. Um, having said that, I couldn't sort of spend a great deal of time modifying the fit, but it's not a million miles off. Um, I found it very, very surprising. It is 8.3 pounds, I've just weighed it, which is heavier than I thought it was gonna be, and it, <laughs> It feels kind of weird. It's really, really neutrally balanced. It feels like it doesn't weigh anything, and yet um, it is still quite a meaty gun. That bank vault action that you get on DT11 still sort of feels like, you know, a DT11, um, but it's just very, very pointable and movable. It made a cracking gun for skeet. I tried it on DTL, mashed, mashed up some DTL targets with it. You know, it, it, I think it's, it's a really nice tool to play with. Um, I would like to spend more time with it, but this isn't a full review. I have just had a chance to. Um, spend some time with it today um, and um, this gun's got to go back to GMK I believe it's going off for another press, press journey it'll be with a, a magazine I imagine after this um, but I will have more of these guns on the way they've already sold one I think they've got another two on order of which one is sold um, but I highly recommend if you can get in a try on one of these um, it's very 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 cool um, so the uh, DT11 Black Pro TSK all right sneak peek part two is a Beretta SL3. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's um, Beretta's new sort of boutique um, game gun, and I can honestly say this is a real, real pleasure to hold. It is a very, very nice gun. Um, this gun is 30 inch uh, fixed choke, um, so quarter and a half, uh, 8.3 pounds all in, uh, solid mid rib, ventilated top rib, 6 mil brass front bead and it is beautiful. Uh, the bluing is absolutely fantastic, the dueling on the action, um, the tiny, tiny details in this new design box lock, um, leaf spring trigger, um, even the top lever is a new design and it is a joy to operate, it feels really, really premium. Um, very, very slim and mobile in the hands. If I was comparing it to anything, I would compare it to a 692 in terms of agility. Um, it's absolutely glorious thing to move around. The quality of the engraving on this gun is stellar. I mean, it really is beautifully done. Um, the woodwork, again, beautiful, slender, um, nice little tiny bit of a palm swell, uh, but very, very slim sort of pistol grip, and of course, uh, solid wood uh, butt. Bible will um, have this the first one in the country. Um, there are four on order that are turning up in October. Um, I believe they are a pair and uh, a left-handed and right-handed gun, all in 30 inch, all fixed choke, um, and they are landing in October time. They have gone for the um, deep floral scroll, which I think is probably the prettiest. This is the game scene, but I think the deep floral is, uh, is very, very pretty indeed. Um, recommend giving them a shout. If you've got an eye on one of these, I think Bible are pretty much the first uh, gun room that are gonna have them available. And if you are in the market for one of these, and you've been wondering what they're like, I can tell you, bloody lovely. Guys, thanks very much for tuning in and um, I shall see you next time.